Hey guys, it's Insum5 here, bringing to you another video. What is this behind me? Blinking weirdly, you might ask. Well, this is 25 instances of Minecraft trying to generate randomness. Basically, this is a small sample set of Minecraft thinking. Let me show you what I got here. Alright, so I got these harnesses. Oh, it's messing with my lag. I got these harnesses. Set up the lights. The harnesses go back to this. This is the battery for all of this. This is 25 instances of water flowing across magma blocks. Somebody, and I, I believe it was adults only Minecraft, I can't be sure, but uh, was doing a tutorial about the properties of magma blocks and mentioned that they seem to evaporate water randomly. And I thought, Oh, really? Well, this sounds like something to play with. So, um, constantly monitoring 25 instances of water evaporating off of magma blocks that goes into these pulse extenders, which combine the signal from the observer blocks uh, instead of it being doubled, it combines it and sends out basically one signal. Um, the reason it's able to do this without any problems is it's, it's not a clock, so you don't have to worry about an incoming signal and signal running over itself and just locking out the system. Um, so I really like this, and here's why. Because basically it's, it's a noise generator in a game that's based pretty much on generating noise. That's how all the landscape is rendered. That's how, you know, all the non-scheduled executables and, and events take place. So this is very much just like a brain scan of Minecraft at a very, at a very small sample size. Now this could be expanded or whatever, and you could change all sorts of things. You could change the uh, frequency modulation, you could make it clock so it, it'd come in pulses. You could do anything you wanted to with this. And I don't know what you could do on the large scale. I mean, I guess maybe it's possible to create frequencies that would interfere with the game, maybe through uh, like a resonant frequency through lag just feeding its own randomness back into the game I don't know if that's even possible but on a practical level like what this is great but what can I do with this on a practical level I'm going to take six instances of this and I'm going to take a display that's three by three and I'm going to wire into the back six wires that correspond with the six different faces on a dice. So I'm going to wire that up and then um, that's going to go into six different wires. They go into six different instances and the way I'm going to make it work is Whichever one fires off first goes through a T, sends a signal through a T flip flop. The T flip flop comes back onto the system and runs interference across the system with locking repeaters. So you should be able to get the first value that the system comes up with, and then the system immediately lock itself out. 
Um, and then all you gotta have is a reset button to reset the T flip flop. So I'm gonna go make a dice game. Uh, Y'all, let me know what you think about this. If you can think of any other uh, uses for this this sort of monitoring, because it, it's really strange to me. But I thought this would be really fun to build and really fun to ask questions. What can we do with this? All right, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. See you later.